What is up guys, my name is Stranger Danger. I'm here today at one of my favorite beaches, Sandy Beach on the south shore of Oahu. And there's actually a spot out there that is absolutely loaded with treasure. And by treasure, uh, it's usually trash. So there's a lot of socks, hair ties, scrunchies, people's clothing, but sometimes we can find some really beautiful shells. And even if we're lucky, a GoPro or an Apple Watch. I have found an action cam before. It wasn't officially a GoPro, but it was like a GoPro. It's the same thing, basically. Got to do all the fun GoPro stuff when you find one. But today we're just looking for anything out there and at the very least gonna clean up some trash, see what we can find. And if we get lucky, might find some really cool stuff out there. So I've got my fingers crossed. I think we're gonna find something cool. That's why we're posting this YouTube video, but we might just be cleaning trash, you never know. So if you guys are new to the channel, go down, hit subscribe, ring the bell. It's the best way to make sure you get notified every single time I post a new video like this one on my adventures in Hawaii with my friends in the ocean. If you're coming from TikTok, put the stack of cash emoji. We're gonna find something to get us paid out there today. We need to, because I haven't made a YouTube video like all month and I'm looking at my YouTube ad revenue and it's not good. So by the way, guys, the best way to support the channel and I really need it right now is to make sure that you like, make sure you subscribe, leave a comment, watch the whole video. That's the secret trick. So if you really, really enjoy the channel, make sure you watch the whole video. And if you have to go do something, whatever, come back later, watch the rest of it. Cause watch time is how I am able to survive out here. And I really appreciate your guys' support. So if you guys want to support the channel, make sure you watch the whole video. And that's it. I think we should go get in the water and go find some treasure. So as soon as I got in the water, I saw this fake leaf and I was like, oh wait, it's a real leaf. And then I was like, oh no, it's a fake leaf. I got totally tricked. And then I saw this bag clip and then that's a sea cucumber that's not doing so well. It looks like a piece of plastic. I think a hair tie, another piece of a hair. No, that's a zip tie. Put that in the bag. And then another fake leaf. What the heck? Some more random trash out here. It's hard to tell what this stuff is even when I pick it up, let alone when I'm watching it again on the video. And then a tag to someone's shirt and another bag clip. Gosh, look at all this stuff down here. There's so much debris. This big chunk of stuff. I don't even know what it is. I got to figure that out. So it looks like there's some fishing line and it's attached to some seaweed stuff. So I just got to put that in the bag. Not even going to bother with taking it apart. I don't know what that thing is, but it definitely doesn't belong out here. And then there's a shovel shaped dingle hopper. And I think I grabbed a hair tie some tin foil that's been there for a long time and here's another hair tie or wait it's a bracelet or something got to make sure to get bracelets out of the ocean because that's the type of thing that could choke a sea turtle so we definitely don't want that out there and then another thing that i see a lot today is stickers like this monster sticker the real monster though is the, some, is the person that attached it to their board and thought it was going to stay you're not even sponsored by monster bro what are you doing and I found a bottle cap, a flower that looks kind of like the fake leaf. There's so many of them. What the heck? And then I saw this big piece of cardboard, some women's bottoms. Imagine losing your entire bottoms and just going home without them. That's kind of weird. And then this big bundle of trash. I don't even know what it is, but that big white part is like animal fat or something. I tried touching it and it was so disgusting. I was seriously like... Ew, I do not want to touch this anymore. So I tried pulling it off, tried to decide if I was going to leave it in the ocean. Decided it doesn't belong out there, so I'm going to take it in, treat it like trash. And then just got a couple organic bits off. There's a mask to a football team, but someone left it out in the ocean, unfortunately. So we're finding a lot of masks out here now too, which is really sad. Found a piece of a goggle. And big chunk of plastic there, some cardboard. All that goes in the bag. It didn't even bother going up to the surface yet because there's so much stuff down here. And then a hair tie attached to some organic debris. And then another big sticker that someone unfortunately left, a golf ball, a piece of a soda can, another golf ball. So now I've got these two big balls and I gotta try to stuff them into my sack. So luckily my sack is big enough to hold those two big balls. And then, oh my gosh. Woo, got paid today, baby, five bucks. Are you kidding me? I was like, okay, maybe I can look around and find some more money down here. So I kept picking up the plastic, trying to see if there was something else. Didn't find anything besides that $5, but $5 makes me holler, baby. Let's go. So I'm super stoked on that. I was hoping I'd find a wallet or something, but still haven't found anything like that yet. But until then, I'll just keep picking up all these little bits of trash. 
And it's honestly been a while since I found treasure out here. Like I found uh, Kalani's action cam a while ago, but really haven't found anything epic since then. So it's kind of bumming me out that I was only picking up trash for people, but finally found that $5 slice epic. The shoelace is wrapped around all this organic debris. Don't have time to pick it apart, so I'm just gonna throw it all in there. And then other bundles of trash, this never give up bracelet. I never gave up on picking up trash and I never will. So I'm just gonna keep on staying down there, picking up trash and never giving up, even though everywhere I turn, I just see more and more just piles of it. Big bundles like that, another hair tie. Would you believe it? Um, there's so many hair ties down here. And that's what I got in that one dive. Just stuff all that into the bag. Bag's starting to fill up, but that's okay. I can keep going. Found a hair tie, a headband, a sock. Sock gang out here in full force, ruining my life. Um, two more hair ties, a, a shovel shaped dingle hopper, another hair tie, another hair tie, another sock. Where are they coming from? A scrunchie. It's starting to sound like the song. Fishing weight, fishing weight, hair tie and a scrunchie, fishing and turtle munchies, diving with my homies. And then here's even more hair ties down in the water. These are the things that can kill sea turtles, so I really gotta get them out. And then notice that piece that I tried to flick off and then accidentally forgot out there. We might see that later. Hey guys, quick intermission before we get back to finding more stuff at the beach. I wanted to let you guys know who the winner is of this magical horse that is way too anatomically accurate. You guys left a crazy amount of comments on that video. I think there was like over 30 or 50,000 or so. It was just absolutely insane. So the people with the least replies only commented like within a day ago, they had no replies on it. So someone was sleeping and didn't reply to their stuff. So the people in this screenshot all can win. I just wanna know whoever is gonna reply to me or wh whoever is gonna DM me first from those people, you can win this horse. So I'm sorry, I can't post this on TikTok because I'm literally blocked from posting on TikTok. So this is how I have to give it out. So if you're one of these people, send me a DM on Instagram and I'll send you this horse. The first one to do it wins it. So, and if you guys know these people, then send them a comment or something and tell them to reach out to me because I want to give this horse to someone. So let's get back to the video. And by the way, the first day of diving was what you saw before. And then the next day is what you're about to see. So there's two different days of diving and it's going to be crazy because I'm going to find something that I missed on the first day. So, okay, let's get back in the water. Okay, so it's day two out here. I started off with a little bit of shell diving. Brittany's actually on shore looking for shells, but uh, I don't know how many she's found. I think she gave up early, but I found those two right off the bat. So that was pretty cool. And then I saw this poor sea turtle that had a, a huge hook stuck in his fin. You can see that massive hook just lodged deep in there. There's absolutely nothing I can do right now. So I tried to reach out, see if he'll let me get close enough to grab it. So I went up and grabbed onto it. My plan was to just get the weight off, but then on closer inspection, I realized the whole thing was made out of metal. So there's nothing I can do. Even if I had a dive knife on me, I would not be able to pull this thing off of him. And I was just holding on thinking, should I take him to shore, try to get it right? And then I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't have any other tools in my truck. Like there's nothing I can do. So I just had to let him go. Hopefully he'll be able to get help at some point. Maybe uh, a diver with tools on them will find him and they'll be able to help him out. But it's so sad to see a turtle like that. And then we're back to our regularly scheduled hair ties and other things like that. I saw this big flat thing under here and I scraped it off to see if it was a treasure chest or something, but it was just a big purple rock that was completely flat. So I was really confused by that, that this rock looked like something. And then I found a butter knife down there. And then I was looking around and I saw this fish and I was like, maybe I can catch him in my net. And my net didn't open up properly, so he got away. I was like, okay, maybe I won't be able to get him. And then I saw him again. I was like, all right, I'm gonna make sure that the net is open when I go down this time. Try to catch that fish. And then I'm sneaking up, just hiding behind the reef so that all he can see is my net. And he's not very smart. So he kind of traps himself into this hole and I'm like, okay, I might be able to scare him out. And sure enough, he swims right into my net and I know he can't swim backwards. He's gonna keep swimming forward into it. And sure enough, I caught him in the net. And I am just so stoked about that. I never did that before. never thought I'd be able to. So that was a really cool catch. I got a fish. I can't keep him. 
So Brittany didn't want me to keep that fish. She said she's but she said that he's better off swimming in the ocean. So I let him go. And then I found this hook with a fishing weight, and the hook was through a piece of fish. So someone was using this as bait, and they didn't catch anything, but they still managed to snag it on something and lose it. So I put that carefully into my dive bag, and then found a, a hair tie, two hair ties, and a sock. Whoa! Big surprise: hair ties and socks out at the beach. And then I found this scrunchie attached to a sock and then a bottle cap. Let's see what else is down here. Can I find another hair tie or scrunchie? Nope, it's sunglasses. So someone lost their sunglasses out there. They look like they're fake nice. I don't know why people have those. And then look, it's the thing that I lost earlier. So I remember watching the video and being like, dang, I lost that. And then I went back the next day and then found it again. So that was really exciting. Then I found this piece of a broken hair tie, some random debris, another hair tie, and then look at that big thing floating around. And then what the heck? More of that fake flower and fake plant? I could not believe that there's so much fake plant out there. And then I found this bandage. And then look at who's attached to all this trash is a sea cucumber. So remember we saw the, the dead sea cucumber in the beginning and I was like, why are the sea cucumbers attached to the trash? And we're gonna see a lot more of them today too. So I'm down there and it's like really uh, hard to see because the wave has turned the water all over. So even as I'm down there, I can barely see the things that I'm picking up. I'm going by feeling alone. So I think I found some cardboard and a hair tie so far and then uh, another scrunchie and there's a tag to someone's shirt and a dingle hopper and a broken dingle hopper and then another headband and a piece of foam or something. And then I think this is a piece of cloth and I'm not sure, but then I realized that again, stuck in it is a sea cucumber. And I'm like, why is a sea cucumber stuck here? I try to pull him off gently, but he's just not unsticking. Another scrunchie and then two pieces of fishing equipment. It's like a little bobber or something. And I put that in there and then I gotta figure out how to get these guys off that are all stuck on. I'm just wondering why these sea cucumbers are stuck. So if you're a marine biologist or if you know one, send this to them. We gotta get to the bottom of this. Why are the sea cucumbers sticking on to the trash? And what can we do to make it so they don't get stuck on like that and they can find their way to the proper place where they keep themselves like on the reef or whatever it is. And then look, literally as soon as I go back down, another hair tie or a headband with a sea cucumber attached to it. And then a fake leaf again with a sea cucumber attached to it. And this thing is like glued on. They have these things called tube feet that help them hold on. They have thousands of tube feet down there, but it's just fully glued onto that. And then seconds later, that piece of plastic, a fake flower, and then another dingle hopper, a headband. What the heck is all that stuff doing out there? Come on. So I put all that stuff into my bag, found a flosser, uh, a knife, some random plastic, that's a sticker and a zip tie, two hair ties back to back right next to each other, big piece of plastic, another headband. Uh, I was like, what is that a wrapper for? Flip it over, realize it's just to show you a soy sauce packet, so nothing to be alarmed about. And then check it out, as I'm putting all this trash in, I realize this big piece of plastic has a sea cucumber attached to it. I'm like, how does this keep happening? So I feel like the most gentle way is for me to just whip it off so that I'm not touching it at all. We don't really wanna be touching stuff out there that we're not meant to. And so another sea cucumber attached to a fake leaf. And I'm just like, why are they here? It is so confusing. And then right before that, I found that big Markiplier E sticker, E. And then literally back to back right there, fake leaves with sea cucumbers attached to them. Like, why are they there? We have to figure out how to stop this. And I don't know if we can pin this one on Sock Gang. So I got that trash out of there and then I'm down again, another monster sticker. Who's the monster that's trying to put these stickers on their board? You do not need monster stickers on your board, dude. I hope it's some little kid that's doing it, but if you're a little kid out there putting stickers on your board, you gotta stop because they're coming off and they're polluting the ocean. So we don't wanna be doing that. So here's a bunch of just random microplastics, a bandage, uh, and a hacky sack and put that in the bag. Someone lost that, another hair tie. And then the worst thing 
that's new in 2020 is the face masks with those two loops on them that could easily kill a sea turtle. So don't, don't let your mask go without cutting them. So I mean, here we see a fish that's not doing so great. And then a piece of fish that someone was using for bait. I just found a hair tie there, picking around, seeing what that is. It looks like a busted tennis ball. Someone's letting their dog play with it. And then you see that piece of fish next to the hair tie I just picked up. Oh my gosh, you guys, I cannot believe that we found that $5 bill. That was absolutely epic gamer moment, absolutely epic diver moment, I mean. Found $5, got paid. We're able to go get something from, from the fast food dollar menu today, so we're getting paid and getting uh, fed because we're hungry. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe and go and hit like and leave a comment too. You guys are coming from TikTok. Don't forget, I already forgot what emoji is supposed to be, but you guys know what emoji is supposed to be. Also, I can't believe that fish swam into my bag. That was like, uh, why would you do that? Because you know that he'll go in the bag. So of course I let him go. He's off swimming with his fishy friends, but it's so funny that I caught that fish in the bag. I could not believe that uh, I was able to do that. So. That was super, super cool. I've never ever caught a fish like that before. That was totally epic and so unexpected. Um, okay, so that's actually it. Hope to see you guys next time. Bye.